Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you have been following my videos, you will know that my last upload, I was admitted to hospital with severe anorexia. I've been here a little over two weeks now, so just wanted to get a little update out here on how things are going and if I've made any progress. So I'm very pleased to be able to say that yes, we are seeing some progress. Um, it's not going to be a very long video today. The idea was just a quick update of the, um, the main bullet points really of what I'd like to get across. Of course, it's not all been plain sailing. There's been a couple of bumps in the road, but on the whole, I am feeling so much more back to Jordan again and um, a lot healthier in my brain than I have been in a long time. So initially on admission, um, due to the severity, I was on IV drips for my nutrients um, and I am now able to get those through the refeeding program, including supplements too. So no more of the drips, which is great, and I'm able to eat normally. I will go into a little bit of an explanation of the refeeding now, uh, just to give you the, the basics if you don't know what it is. Um, and I'll be able to do sort of longer, uh, more in-depth videos in the future once I'm home and well, hopefully. <laughs> One thing that I am so incredibly grateful for, well, there's many, many things since I've been here, is that yes, of course, the focus, the primary focus is on my eating and getting me to a safe weight for discharge. But it's also, it goes deeper than that because with it being mental health, you know, there's, there's a lot of other areas that it ties into and eating is really a symptom of a, a bigger issue that has been all encompassing for a long time in my life. And uh, I've had many, many struggles with a host of mental health issues. And I'm genuinely getting the support in here. So yes, I am on the refeeding program and there's a lot of focus on that but also with the mental health team and how it works is they do something called a multidisciplinary meeting, which is where they meet from all departments and all areas and come together to discuss my progress and any areas that we can be working on um, to help with the process. So one of the um, original reasons that I was so terrified during admission is I was under the impression that it would feel a bit like a, a prison and that's not been the case at all. It's, it's been such a friendly environment, uh, the staff and patients, uh, we've been able to have a lot of laughs along the way and the care has been absolutely amazing. I felt listened to, respected and um, that things have been done at a gradual process and with, um, with the support there, so if I am struggling, they're there to help, you know. I'm not here because I'm in trouble, I'm here to get better. And I am doing. So, that's that bit talked about. Now, for the main question, have I been able to gain any weight? Now, what has happened is, um, there is the term they use, it's called static. And it basically means when your weight kind of stabilizes around the same. And that had been happening. Um, there's the weigh-ins on a Monday and a Thursday and it had stayed static. And it, it was hard to not let that get me down. But then what you've got to think is, with this being a, a refeeding program, I had to start off super steady and completely guided by them. So you're talking um, very, very, very small meals at the beginning. And you build that up gradually over time, which means that it's not scary and it's not daunting, and also is safe for my, my body and my electrolytes and things. So my weight had stayed static and I'd kept on complying with the plan, even making suggestions of additional things I could add in, um, obviously of course monitored to make sure it's safe. And we are now seeing an increase in my weight. Yay! I will just quickly apologize for the uh, terrible camera angle. I'm doing the best I can. I wanted to come and get a bit of privacy, of course, to film. So I'm just sort of holding this in front of me and it's probably a bit shaky, but at least it gets the update out there. Uh, when I'm back home and well, we can go back to the format where I look a bit more presentable and it's a bit more professional filming. 
And in regards to the uh, food and meal times, now this is a game changer. I've had a lot of time to do reflecting while I'm here, a lot of journaling and things. And when I had first, in the beginning stages here, the food trolley, I'd be feeling anxious because um, I haven't had actual hunger cues for a very, very long time now. And so I would eat the meals. I've been fully compliant with everything. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back here because I'm getting glowing reports that I'm really doing everything I can. So I'm proud of that. And now when the trolley comes, so breakfast, I've never been a breakfast person. So I eat it because it's the right thing to do. But lunch and tea, when I hear that trolley, I'm, I'm excited. And I even, you know, when you get a rumbly tummy and it starts making noises and it's telling you to feed me. And I cannot remember the last time that happened, so um, it, it's quite euphoric, to be fair, to be feeling hungry and eating food and enjoying it as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so in terms of the meal times, I was worried that it would feel um, pressured, and that has not been the case at all. So of course I am monitored during my meals, but that's more for support and encouragement and also to make sure that I, I am getting the meeting. But it, it doesn't feel like, you know, you've been watched in a zoo or anything like that. I'm able to chat with them if I like to, or I can do my writing as I eat, or simply just put on my headphones and uh, listen to something or watch a video. So it's nice and relaxed and they're there if I'm struggling because, yeah, there's been a couple of wobbles with a couple of meals I've struggled with here and there, or times when I've just you know it's been a bit overwhelming and they've been right there by my side to be able to help me without pressure so in terms of where we go from here and when i will be able to go home i don't know yet so of course i do need to be at a stable bmi before i'm discharged from here and then we'll continue to be supported in the community after that so that is why i'm at excuse me, why I'm elated that we have now seen some weight gain, but it may be a bit of a steady pro process depending on how my body wants to comply with me, but we're on the up. So the weigh-ins are um, Monday and Wednesday, so I will find out on Monday if I've gained over the weekend, which uh, hopefully I will. I've been having on top of my meals the Ensure drinks. I know that they don't appeal to everyone, but I really like them. I think the banana one's my favourite, and that's um, alongside my meals, so I'm not just depending on getting the calories through drinks. I do find them tasty. Um, so that's great and even like hot chocolate and biscuits on my evening time so that I can have that little treat and um, hopefully continue to nourish my body. Now I am very aware that this is a very heavy topic to be discussing but I do think it's essential um, for me to document my progress and uh, to be able to be proud of myself and see the improvement. I mean, I'm, I'm aware that I look terrible on camera due to the, the angles and the lighting and things like that. But if you look at the initial video of when I was in here and extremely poorly, my demeanor and my speech and my thoughts, just all of that has improved. So it's, it's not really about how I look right now. So I'm trying not to think too much about that. I just want to get the message out there. So yeah, it's a heavy topic that I will be journaling my recovery and when I'm out as well. But of course, my channel, it's not just about um, mental health and addiction and things. They are important topics to discuss, but I do have the lighthearted videos too. So I'll just give you a quick thing on that. So I've had a lot of time on my hands while I've been in here and uh, I've been looking through my phone and videos and things that I've never got posted that I'd forgotten about. And I have on my channel, so I've got like videos where I've pranked my mum or jokes that I personally find hilarious and I end up cracking up while I'm telling them so I can barely get the jokes out. Um, and bits of dancing around and silly things just to maybe give people a bit of a giggle or a boost for the day. So I will be able to upload some sort of lighter hearted content, maybe a little bit entertaining for you. And I'm happy to do that whenever. And uh, I think that sort of keeps a good balance on the channel as well. So, um, yes, we are seeing progress. I am feeling a lot healthier in my body and my brain. Wish me luck with continued weight gain and recovery, please. I would really appreciate it. 
and um, I love you all so much. I'm filming this on a Sunday, so it's a early morning, nice and quiet, so I could just get out there to give you that update because I really appreciate the support and you're all standing by me. So yes, stay tuned and um, please subscribe if you haven't already because it'd be great to build my channel and spread awareness and I will speak to you soon. Have a lovely day and ciao for now.